to show you from the new Mac collections and then Sephora and Ulta were both having sales. So I'll go ahead and start with Ulta. Ulta was having a 15% off sale and then they had a 40% off sale the next week. So during the 15% off sale I got some hair products. First I got the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. How did I live without this? I've tried this a few times and it's such an awesome detangler. My hair is really curly and gets really tangly, so I picked up this. And then, per all of you guys have recommended this and I've heard lots of other people recommend this, is the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. I bit the bullet and got this because I was like, oh my gosh, this is so expensive, but it's awesome. I only wash my hair about two to three times a week because my hair is so dry naturally. So I picked this up and my hair feels like butter. And I've tried tons of conditioning masks and so far I think this has made my hair the softest. So I'll update you guys on how I like this. Then for the 40% off sale Ulta, I first picked up one of the NYX Butter Glosses. This is in the color Apple Strudel. This was the last one left, like there were no more. I wanted to try some of the other colors and my Ulta was just completely sold out. I have a video on Keek of what this looks like on. And then I picked up a Revlon Color Stay Nail Polish in Stiletto. This is just a black polish. I ordered a matte top coat off eBay so I want some matte black nails so I picked up this. Then Sephora was having their 15% off sale, it's for all beauty and insiders and VIBs. I only picked up one thing but it's something I've been eyeing and it's the NARS eyeshadow single in Coconut Grove. This is the darkest brown I've ever seen and I wanted a really really dark brown because even with MAC I find that I can't find something that's just almost black and this is almost black on. It shows up even darker when you put it on the eyes. I have it in the crease of my eyes right now and it's extremely pigmented so I was really happy that I got to pick this one up. So moving on to MAC, I got some really exciting things that I've been eyeing and things from their new collections. I got a few things from the fashion sets and the In Extra Dimension. So I'll start with the fashion sets. If you want to see what the lipsticks I got look like on, I have pictures on Instagram. So the first lipstick I got is Ablaze. This is a gorgeous pink coral and it's not like anything that I have because I swatched it next to Vegas Full and some other things and it was still just a little bit different and it's a matte. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then the next one I got was, of course, Heroin. I've been eyeing this since it came out, I think, last year, and I wanted it. I think there were two left whenever I got this, and I got it a few hours after it launched at the matte counter. So I picked up Heroin, and it's actually pretty wearable. I have pictures, like I said, on Instagram, and I got a lot of compliments when I wore it out. Then from the Inextra Dimension collection, I picked up Double Definition Mineralized Skin Finish. This is what I'm wearing now on my cheeks. I hope the light isn't washing it out. But I've been wearing this ever since I got it a few days ago. And it's just beautiful. It's a bronzy peach shade. And I use this lighter gold color as a highlight. And then I used it all swirled together as like a blush. And it gives a really pretty bronzy effect to the face. I think this is going to look even prettier when I get tanner, but if you're really dark skin, I think this is a must-have for you. But then I picked up a few permanent items from MAC. First thing is the Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. This just became permanent not too long ago, and everyone always raves about it. I needed a new exfoliator, so I thought, why not? And I tried it last night, and my face felt so smooth, and it smells so good because there's sugar in it. Amazing. I can't wait to keep trying this out. Then I picked up some more MAC Fix Plus water. I love this stuff. I'm almost out of the one that I have. I have just a little bit left and it's amazing. I use it as a face moisturizer, a face refresher, and I've been wearing my eyeshadows wet a lot lately, so I've been using it for that. And then what I have on my lids right now is MAC's Pressed Pigment and Deeply Dashing. I've seen so many people wear this lately and it's just gorgeous. It makes your eyelids look wet and it's beautiful. So I picked up this. Then for the eyes I also picked up Max Tan Pigment. I wore this also in a picture on Instagram because when I get stuff I have to play with it. And it's a beautiful bronzy sheen but it's got a little bit of peach in it. So, so pretty. Then lastly I picked up a blush. This is Melba from MAC. It's a beautiful peachy pink matte blush and it's really not like anything I have because I do have corals, I have pinks, and I have oranges but this is like in the middle and it's a beautiful everyday shade and I love it. I've only worn it twice but every time I'm just like uh, so obsessed with it. So that's all for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you got anything from the sales or new collections. Of course all these sales and new stuff was coming out at the same time so I'm like a kid in a candy shop. But let me know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.